Hey everyone, this is my 2011 Suzuki DL650 V-Strom. I've had this for about two years now. Haven't had to do much to it at all. It's been really, really good. Uh, time has come though to look into the brakes. I've been noticing the pedal's been getting lower and the uh, I've had to squeeze a bit further on the front brake handle front brake lever get it right and you can see there the brake pads are starting to thin down not so bad on the front but um, yeah time's come that's pretty hard to see what's going on on the front there but I've got some new ones here, cost me a small fortune, yeah, and all those prices up. Where are we that way? And anyway, it is windy as today, so hopefully there's not too much wind noise going on. Apologies for what you do get. And, um, alright, so I'll get into it and uh, I'll take you along for the ride. No pun intended. Right, let's try and battle the wind noise a bit here, but two front, two caliper bolts loose. Oops, sorry, shaky cam. Don't look too bad, but I'm changing them anyway. So, okay, looks like we've got to pull that little pin on that pivot there. Pin there. Focus, and as I'm working one-handed, I'll bring you back in a second. Right. Clips out. Pull that pivot pin. Oops. Well, that one came out nice and easy. Compare that one to the new one in just a moment. This one's all but out to Working fine. Alright, let's get these new ones out and prepare. Okay, so there's a comparison. That's the new one to the left, old one to the right. If you can hear a bell ringing. Bird going off with a, his toy. So yeah, there's a, we'll just say that's about half gone. So yep, yeah, it was time. The back's actually worse. So uh, okay, let's get to it. Right, so I've just used this piston retracting tool. I guess you could call it. This is a car one, but uh, done a good job on this. Push those pistons back in to allow for the extra meat on the disc pads. And uh, right, we'll get those new ones in. Okay, we have, <coughs> excuse me, we have our new pads installed. I had to just swap over those uh, little, I think, 
what you call them as anti-vibration shims backing shims there each one's got it just see that one there's a nice uh, nice gap there to accommodate the disc so on we go right we're on I've never actually done this job so that was surprisingly easy very easy really even looks a bit blingy with a bit of gold there actually gold bike <laughs> anyway I'll uh, get on with the other side and then we'll get on to the back okay so we're done on both sides on the front now and much better it used to come a lot further in to do the same thing so okay now on to the back okay 14 mil here Twelve mil here. Someone likes the impact impact noise. Okay. And that just comes off and they just just about fall off. Okay, need two hands. Okay, so out of there, okay, we a screw on the slotted plug. And in there is an Allen key, Allen head pin. I've already loosened this because it was tight. So that seems to be. All that's holding it on now and pull those out pull that out and they should fall off like that all right let's get, those again. Let's get the new ones and do a quick compare okay so you can see there's quite a substantial difference there so there's the thickness of the new one there's a thickness there go, the old one so yeah about two thirds gone I'd say and the other one is just the same and the wind blows just as I want to start filming got the same setup going here piston retractor if I can hold this and do it at the same time. Yep, there we go. Oh, terrible camera work. one-handed stuff is hard to get used to but you can get the idea it's going in just for the record the slider is nice and free okay so I did take it out and put some rubber grease on it there we go it was free but couldn't help myself. Okay, so we are all but set up there, ready to go back in. And 
So let's do it. Driver. <laughs> Protest from the gallery. So, just a quick one. This is the grease I use. Doesn't mean it's the the only grease you can use or the best grease, but this does a good job. It's for obviously rubber, so I'd say it does good for me. It does good. That's good grammar. Okay, so this is much better now. It doesn't go halfway down as it used to. Much, much better. Get a bit of light going here. Right, you can see there. We're all installed, looking good. So, job's done. I'm really pleased with that. It cost me a total of about $170 just in parts. There's our dead bits there. So, had that been done by the shop, you probably could have easily tacked a couple of hundred extra dollars on top of that so yeah good feeling and satisfaction getting that done the next thing I'm going to do is drain the brake fluid out and uh, change it for some nice fresh stuff but uh, I won't be doing that tonight because between winds howling and birds ringing bells and things um, I think that's enough for tonight this is actually my first YouTube video that I've did actually sat down and um, purposely filmed so thanks for persevering with uh, all those things and uh, so just as a side note this is not any kind of tutorial, it's just me fixing my bike, getting a buzz out of doing my own work. So, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll be doing something again very soon, whether it's on the bike or something different. Good chance it'll be something else mechanical. Doing some fixing up, resurrecting, repairing something along those lines we'll um, I'll just see what comes up next and uh, have a bit of a film and see what happens so I'd like to thank everyone who's uh, stopped by to watch what I'm doing and persevering with me stumbling through my words and uh, wind noise and all the rest and I hope you've enjoyed the video and hope to catch you again soon